Let me see. What other questions do I have? Can you do entry level cybersecurity? Yes, absolutely you can. So can you do, so somebody asked me on YouTube, can you do entry level cybersecurity? And the answer is yes. Even with entry level, you're not exempt from not knowing IT. Okay. You need to know information technology in order to do this job. But can you do entry level? Absolutely. How do you find those? I'll show you right. I will show you live. Here's how you find an entry level position. This is assuming information technology. And you're smart on this stuff. Let me show you how. I'm going to let me show my screen real quick. Can you do entry level? Here's how you do it. If it was me, I'd say cyber security. This is just one way to do it, by the way. Entry level jobs. I'm on Google and look at this. Google has this feature where if you just put in whatever keyword jobs, it'll find this right here. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at here. All I did was went to, to Google and then typed in cyber security entry level jobs. These are all entry level jobs right here, all over the internet. Entry level positions, all of these things. You can do this same thing I just did on every single search engine. And, and let's see what they're talking about here. So this one at clearance jobs, let's look at what kinds of things that they need. You're not exempt from actually knowing IT. You still need to know information technology, but it is an entry level position. Entry level, by the way, doesn't mean zero experience, but sometimes you can get lucky and find those zero level experience ones. Let's see, this is really poorly formatted, but it says they're looking for a junior to mid-level role, 100% focus on daily operational responsibilities, develops and implements enterprise information security architectures, solutions, oversees application development. So if you've never done this before, then how can you do this? So this is not, this one's not ideal. Let's look at another one here. Entry level, cybersecurity, entry level position, mid-level duties. Okay, let's look at this. Develop an information security engineering aligned. Okay, develop. So this one, you're actually writing agreements and writing con ops. That's pretty cool. This is a pretty good job. It's a really good way to get your foot in the door in a, in a GRC type position. Candidate must have a minimum of two years. So that's what they're considering an entry level position. Check that. Isn't that crazy? So you might be think, talking about no experience. How do you find a no experience? So here's how you could find a no experience cybersecurity job. Let's see. You could look for something with GED. Let's see if we can find one. Cybersecurity analyst. This one's in Colorado. This was this is the same one we were just looking at. Let's see. What are the requirements for this? Candidate must have a minimum of 2 years. Background investigator. Let's see. Entry level jobs are not going to be making six figures. All right. So you're trying to get your foot in the door with an entry level job. Here's another one. Something, wow. These guys are hiring like crazy. These guys got a ton of jobs. Okay. Here's another one. If you have absolutely no experience at all and you're trying to learn, let me show you another trick. Here's what you, here's what I would do. Get rid of GED. I would look for a help desk job. And the reason, and I'll explain to you why. Some of these jobs literally require zero experience. See this? These guys are expecting you to have no experience at all. No experience. And you said cybersecurity, right? Here's the reason why I would do this instead if you have zero experience. Look, profit. they still expect you to have proficiency in this and knowledge of SQL. That means you still have to know IT. There's no way around that part. Here's why I would do a IT entry level. So a good cybersecurity entry level position is going to pay you pretty good. It's not going to be six figures. It's probably more than likely not going to be six figures. Can you? Yes, there's ways you can do six figures as entry level. I can tell you that. But if you have zero experience, but you have the knowledge, let's say, you took the security plus, you took the A plus certification, you know, in your head, you know it, but you are a sanitation engineer. You are a, you're working in a hospital, you're a teacher or whatever. But I have to have, Bruce said, I have to have the IT knowledge. Okay. So you got it. Now you want to get your foot in the door. 
the first thing you need to do is get experience. And the best way to get experience is help desk. Help desk has the best range of people that they will accept. They will accept somebody who has no experience and they will have an apprenticeship where they walk you through it and give you on the job training. Every hour of experience that you can get is worth its weight in gold. Experience equals money. The more experience you can put under your belt that you can add to your resume, the more money you can, the more money you can get. So in every industry, think of your own industry, whatever industry you happen to be in. Who comes in and is immediately making six figures? Who comes in and is immediately a manager? Who comes in and is immediately a subject matter expert? Nobody. You got to start from the bottom. The bottom in, in cybersecurity is help desk. Not all help desk people are from the bottom, by the way. There's some people in help desk that are making six figures, okay? That's a fact. But what I'm trying to tell you is if you want to come in and get experience and get that start racking up that money, you want to come in on an entry-level help desk. Entry-level is also known as customer technical support field technician. These are all key words you can type into Google or Indeed or LinkedIn or Dice.com or Monster and type in, you can type in help desk. You might want to write this down. <laughs> help desk, field tech, customer support technician. Those are all key words that you want to put in front of entry level. And then you'll find jobs that have zero, they're not, they don't expect you. You can have a GED. You can, and some of them don't even want, don't even care if you have, they just want somebody who's willing to come in and do the work. You're not going to come in making $80 an hour. Okay. You're not going to come in making $50 an hour. You might not even make $30 an hour. But what you want to do is take the first step forward to get that on your resume. Because after you get that on your resume, you can ask for more money at another place. The very first step is to get the experience on your resume. And now when you put the experience on your resume, you want to emphasize the security things that you've done. Help this people do a security. What do they do? They have to update the security patches on operating systems. They might have to work on not only Linux systems, Mac, Macintosh systems, but also Microsoft operating systems. They might have to work on servers, clients. They might have to work on desktops, mobile devices, Android phones, iOS, Apple devices. There's all of these different things that you're going to work on, and you're going to be putting the, putting security features on those systems. That's the stuff you got to put on your resume. That right there gets your foot in the door. You want to do that to, for, at least, I would say, at least six months. At least six months, because that shows in six months you can get gather quite a bit of experience maybe three months but six months like in in six months if you're really tracking what you're doing you will have done a lot customer support is one special if you're walking people through how to fix technical items you also want to be doing this in your own house like you want to be doing technical things in your own house like if you want to set up your own network you don't want to just call in the resident geek and have him come and remove the viruses from your system you want to take the time to remove your own viruses or at the very least have watch them do it and see how they're asking questions like how did you why did you reboot my system could you walk me through it can you show me how you just did that and then try to do it yourself like you have to learn enough to nobody's exempt even if you walk in off the street even if you get one of these entry level help desk positions, nobody's exempt from knowing anything. You have to know something. You have to have cracked a book open and read. You have to have done some work on your own laptop and know something. If you can't even turn on a computer and you're not going to take the time to do it, just move on. Do something else. This isn't for you. If you don't want to turn a computer on and learn some stuff on your own, this is not, I'm telling you, this is not the career path for you. What you might want to try is program management. Program management, you don't really have to know. You still have to know some IT and program manager. Actually, you have to have, you have to know things like Word. You have to know Microsoft Office. You have to know how to do Gantt charts. They do all that stuff in PMP. You have to know some IT, not IT, probably just, you have to know some desktop type applications in program management. So you do have to know some things in program management. 